Hey there, train enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into a hot topic in the world of locomotives, the showdown between conventional loco haul trains and the revolutionary Vande Bharat Express. Strap in, because we are about to break it down for you. First up, we have the tried and tested loco haul trains. These workhorses of the railway industry have been chugging along for decades, relying on locomotives to pull a string of coaches behind them. They're reliable, sturdy, and have been the backbone of railway networks worldwide. Enter the Vande Bharat Express, a game-changer in the world of trains. This sleek, aerodynamic marvel of engineering is India's first semi-high-speed train, boosting state-of-the-art technology, comfort, and speed. It's a true symbol of innovation in the railway industry. So, what sets these two apart? Let's deep dive into the same. Tractive Power Distribution Conventional train is hauled by a locomotive attached at the end of train formation. So, one engine in the front of the train will generate the necessary tractive power which in turn will be transferred through all the coaches till the last bogey via the coupling linkage. In contrast to that Vande Bharat Express falls into the category of electric multiple units. More than one coach of the locomotive is designed to generate its own tractive power. Thus, amount of mechanical power transferred via coupling linkage is less. This helps in optimizing the design of coupling linkage and reduce material content and weight of the locomotive. Rating of Locomotive Conventional trains will have one single locomotive which will rate it very high since it will be designed considering the maximum power necessary to haul the train. Sometimes two or more engines are added at different positions within a train to get the necessary tractive effort. Usually, one engine is attached to the front of a train, but if the train is too long, then one more engine is added. In few cases, an engine is attached to middle or at the end of the train. The engine attached the end of the train is called as a banker engine which is added to get more tractive effort to climb a gradient. As against to that Vande Bharat Express has power directly generated by two coaches per basic unit, and eight power cars in 16 car formation train, which means each coach has enough tractive power to haul itself in any terrain. It is also important to note that Vande Bharat has 50% motorization, which means 50% of the available motor car would be generating power at any point of time. This is done to prevent stoppage of train in case of any problem in the motor cars. The distributed tractive power in Vande Bharat eliminates the need of putting the extra power into the front engine of conventional locomotive which will be not used for the entire duration of travel. Thus, again reduces the size of the locomotive, reduces cost, and makes it more efficient. Acceleration of the locomotive We all know from the simple mechanics that pulling an object is more efficient than pushing an object. Hence the conventional trains are hauled by an electric locomotive from the front. The power is subsequently transferred by the coupling linkages till the last coach of the train. So, it will take time for tractive power to get transferred to last coach. If the engine tries to have a faster acceleration but giving sudden power to the entire train will give a jerk which affect the mechanical coupling. But if we look at Vande Bharat Express, the bogies are hauling themselves. This falls into the category of rolling movement which is different than the push or pull motion. Rolling is much efficient than either push or pull, as the motion is directly generated within the object which we intend to move. Now coming back to the locomotive, in case of Vande Bharat, at least four coaches start with rolling motion and another 12 coaches experience mix of pull and push motion. Thus the need to providing high power to achieve faster acceleration is not necessary. Efficiency It will be informative to know that most of the locomotives have three-phase AC induction motor generating the necessary tractive power in a train. It will be equally interesting to know that induction motor achieves maximum efficiency at 75% to 90% of its maximum rating depending of various factors within motor design. So, if we look at the conventional trains which has one locomotive. 
It will be running at various speed within its journey due to signaling system or frequency of station, etc. So, such train will be running rarely at its peak performance or the rated speed at which it will be efficient. In contrast to that, in a Vande Bharat Express, since the power is distributed to each bogey, the rating of the motor will be lower than the motor used in conventional trains. Thus, those motors will be running at their peak performance at most of the time. When train is running at a flat track, some motors can be turned off or they can operate in generating mode thus improving the efficiency further. In a way the control system also plays a critical role in achieving efficiency. Redundancy Normally, a conventional train will have one locomotive, sometimes in case of special train, two locomotives are also used. Two locomotives can be used due to various reasons. Few of them can be, to get more tractive power or to have redundancy in system. Like that the train will be have two pantographs and two locomotives which can be used in case of any failure with one locomotive. But in case of Vande Bharat, the redundancy is already integrated. If we look at the formation of a Vande Bharat, the basic unit of the train which has four coaches, has a driver trailer coach which has control equipment for the train, motor coach which has the transformer and converter unit, trailer coach which has the pantograph and high voltage systems and finally another motor coach. Some cases trailer coach is replaced with non-driver trailer coach which does not have the control equipment for train movement. Such coach comes in the middle of the train in second and third basic unit. In each basic unit, one coach is driver control coach, followed by motor coach, followed by trailer coach which has transformer, converter unit and pantograph. Finally second motor coach. Please remember that Vande Bharat has 50% motorization as per RDSO guidelines. So, in summary each basic unit is itself a train. The different Vande Bharat train operational within India are either 16 car formation which has 4 basic units or 8 car formation which has 2 basic units. Regardless of the formation, it is evident that there is high level of redundancy in Vande Bharat trains. This is done to ensure that the train does not stop due to technical reason. Effective Utilization of Train In a conventional train, the formation is, engine, generator unit and 24 coaches. Sometimes for long distance trains, one of the 24 coaches will be pantry car. But in contrast to that, in Vande Bharat, there is no dedicated engine, no dedicated generator car, pantry unit is attached to every coach. So, the entire train is effectively utilized for passenger movement and, the other rail infrastructure like platform size can also be reduced. Improving Operational Efficiency and Connectivity In conventional train, passengers travel from one point to another point with different destination stations. There are few trains which split or amalgamate at a junction, although with sectional coaches, they are increasingly rare and being phased out. In general, Indian Railway does not use the concept of sectional carriages and reforming, which is intensively used by the railway operators in Europe, where a dozen coaches in a train leaving from one station, each one might end up going to a different destination. Now with Vande Bharat trains, that can be possible, in future. Each basic unit can be directed to different destinations. Once they reach a certain station the basic unit can be detached and reattached to a different section, which can further continue to the next destination. Thus, the advantage will be, it won't be necessary for trains to have large number of coaches traveling through the longest possible route covering maximum number of passengers. Trains will take small trip and by splitting and reattaching can cover shorter distances of 300 km and connecting multiple destinations with available trains. And there you have it, folks. So, knowing the difference between both generation of trains. Which side are you on? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more train-tastic content. Till then, goodbye.